I'm not cognate of too many things. It's sleep that I need, if you know what I mean. Today I made sure I got up on time because I had car inspection this morning so that it can be relicensed. It passed! It passed its MOT! Woohoo! So I'll probably end up going to the DMV tomorrow, Department of Motor, Motor Vehicles, to get the little sticker to put on the license. I don't know. I came home and I made a loaf of bread. The cat and I already ate the pizza that I had made. This is a a loaf of bread. The bread is very tasty. I just may give up buying bread and make it from now on because you can make it exactly how you want. That's the part I like about cooking. You can make it exactly the way you like. And it's cheaper. You know, have you bought a, a loaf of bread, like a whole wheat bread or something? It's almost three or four dollars for a loaf of bread. That's insane. <laughs> Am I cheap? Maybe. <laughs> Uh, I checked, uh, I had, what, an Instagram or something of my little grandson, who looks like the Michelin Man's baby. <laughs> He's got the little chubbiest arms you ever saw. He's learning to eat people food. He's gone from being breastfed to eating people food. And he likes people food. <laughs> I think he's about nine months old, eight months, nine months He's discovered food. That's bread with beans on it. Good job, buddy. <laughs> and then today I had rented a rug doctor because my rug machine had a problem. The ladies buy, uh, the, I took it to a place where I rented the rug doctor. It's a vacuum place. And uh, that's where I go for all my vacuum needs. These people have been in business for like 40 or 50 years and they know what they're doing. I wasn't going to leave it there for them to fix. I just wanted to know what was wrong with it. But they're so nice. It shouldn't cost that much. Maybe a couple weeks, but I, that's okay. I have my mom's old rug cleaner in case I really need to cover a spot, but the the cat is old, and sometimes he, for some reason, has just decides to pee. So I got really tired of that, and I rented that rug doctor and went to town on the rug today. And he wasn't sure what the heck was going on, but and the floor was still a little damp now, but he realizes that it's for the best. It is. Send off my information to my son in California. He wants to know what all I'm bringing. I told him I'm driving out because the cat won't like the airplane ride. I don't. It's it's awfully loud in the airplane. You can't talk to them to comfort them if it's so loud, you know? And so it's going to take 26 hours to drive out there. My brother said it ought to be fun. You could stop and see the world's largest ball of twine. The kind of things I do anyway. <laughs> he goes, and you can vlog it. Like, yes, I can. Yeah. Kind of looking forward to it. I just have to save up enough money for five tanks of gas. Because that's what it's going to take, that behemoth Buick Lucerne. Why couldn't Mom have had a different car? One more gas-friendly. Thinking ahead to, to getting a Prius. Test drove one. Not bad. And the mileage is wonderful. But the car I had before Mom's car was a 97 Ford Explorer and that leaked everywhere. The window wouldn't open and I had to open the driver's door from reaching over from the passenger side. I mean it was it was falling apart. 
I'm surprised I got $300 from the salvage yard for it. <laughs> Even the county assessed it at $100, so... Okay. <laughs> eh, I don't know. I still have stuff to do, but some of the stepping stones are done now. Like, the, that rug was bug bugging me. I just had to do it. And the lists and things to send to Brian were just bugging me. So... I don't know why, it just must be because I have ADHD or something or something or something, I don't know, who knows. It's like, there's something to do and I can't ignore it. I can't go forward without doing that thing. It's like a roadblock and I have to deal with the roadblock before I can move on. Most people can just kind of step over the roadblock and they'll oh, go back to it, you know, no big deal. I don't know why, it just... Maybe it's something I have to overcome. I don't know. Uh, reaching the end of the medicine that my brother gave me. Hopefully it will take care of all the problem in my leg. And I won't have any other problems. Because I can't afford $650 for a bottle of pills. That's insane. Home remedies. Just don't do that. They don't take care of that. So, cat's sleeping. I need to go to bed. Two nights ago, I didn't sleep at all. Yesterday, I slept two hours at a time, but mostly through the night, weirdly enough. I don't sleep more than two hours at a time, and I just don't know why. Maybe it's being old, because older people have told me, Oh, that's what happens when you get old. You just don't sleep. I'm like, oh, really? Great. I like sleeping. I like sleeping in a nice, soft, fuzzy, comfortable, cool room, but nice and comfy. And Oh, yes. Well, where was I? I'm here. But I need to go upward and onward. <laughs>